After being discharged from the army, this patriot joins a team that promises him he will be serving his country. However, a mission goes wrong and he discovers that what he thought was wrong. Now he is a conned man hell-bent on vengeance. James Harper is a decorated Green Beret Army sergeant on leave so he can rehabilitate his injured knee. He had sustained an injury in Afghanistan and the pain on his knee is so unbearable at times. He tries to manage the pain with the meds provided by the army, but at times he resorts to using steroids to numb the pain. James is married to Brianne and the two have an eight-year-old boy. James is very fond of his family and he spends most of his time trying to make them happy. One day, James gets a call from his army superiors about an impromptu test. He goes to the base to meet with his superiors regarding his career. Sadly, he is honorably discharged from the army, but due to the steroids found in his system, he won't receive a pension or further medical assistance. As James walks out of the office, his heart swells since he is a patriot who would have wished to serve his country more. He gets home and tells Brienne what had happened and she promises that they will figure things out together. However, the family is in a large amount of debt and the bills keep on piling. James gets offers to work as a private military contractor, but he feels like that is betraying his country. One day, Brienne tells Jason that his best friend Mason has ended his life. Brienne is worried that James might think of doing the same due to the challenges they are facing, but James assures him he will never leave his family. At the burial, James reconnects with his army special unit superior, Mike. Mike invites James over for dinner, and the two catch up on their various lives. James is surprised by how lavish Mike seems to be living. Mike had also faced the same discharge in the army, and he now works as a private military contractor in a company run by another veteran called Rusty. While watching a football game, Mike tells James about his work and how great the pay is. Seeing no other alternative, James agrees to let Mike set up an interview with Rusty. James meets with Rusty at his farm, and the two talk for a while. Rusty explains that most of the work they do has support from the National Security Agency, making James feel that he will be serving his country in one way or the other. He also tells Mike that the team who works for him includes fellow veterans, so the group is like a family. Rusty agrees to hire James and gives him his first assignment. He also gives him a check for $50,000 to help him clear his debts. James is very happy to have a job, especially one that aligns with his interests. He shares this with Brienne, who is surprised that he has decided to work as a private contractor. Nonetheless, she supports his decision, asking him to be careful. Soon, James travels to Germany for his first mission. He is approached by a woman called Sadia, who is one of Rusty's soldiers. Sadia tells James that his work is to surveil a Middle Eastern scientist called Salim. James starts working and soon he has a complete schedule of Salim's movements. He is informed that Salim is a threat. James is very careful in observing Salim. Rusty then brings the team together and reveals that Salim is working for Al-Qaeda and is in the process of developing a bioweapon for mass destruction. Rusty says that the team has permission to breach Salim's laboratory and retrieve the data. Sensing the urgency, the team agrees to break into the laboratory and incapacitate Salim before his work is done. The team gears up and they go to the heavily guarded laboratory. Mike is leading the team since Rusty is back home. Their training enables them to quickly disarm the guards and they get to Salim. Mike asks his men to start collecting data about Salim's work, while James is asked to kill Salim. As James is about to execute him, Salim continues to yell that he is just a scientist working on a cure. However, James eliminates him and the team leaves, setting the laboratory on fire. Outside, they find themselves surrounded by police officers and a shootout occurs. Most of the team is killed, leaving James and Mike. They hide from the officers in an underground tunnel that acts as a storm drain. Mike is badly injured and fears that he will not make it. So he asks James to take care of his family. Fortunately, James is not ready to lose his friend, so he quickly works on helping him by giving him a blood transfusion. Soon, Mike is up and ready to leave. However, James's knee acts up again, immobilizing him. So he asks Mike to take the computer with Salim's files to Rusty and he will meet them soon. Mike tells James to wait in a hotel and that he will get him in six hours. He tells James to take care of himself and rest up enough and they will reconvene soon. After a while, James leaves the tunnel and goes to the hotel. He finds a fresh set of clothes from Mike and a note telling him that he had gone to deliver the files to Rusty. James waits for a long time, but Mike never shows. Afraid that something bad has happened, James checks out of the room and then uses a burner phone to call Rusty. 
Rusty reveals that Mike never made it and he wants to know where James is so he can send his men to get him. James gives Rusty his location but a sixth sense warns him, so he stands outside the hotel and watches the men Rusty sends. True to his instinct, once the men don't find him in the hotel, they look around and order him to follow them. When James shows reluctance, the men start chasing him, intending to eliminate him. James showcases his skills and manages to incapacitate most of the team. He then asks one of the men who had sent them and learns that Rusty wanted him dead. He also gives James the location of a safe house, but warns him against returning home. James is at a loss, but he remembers that Salim had said he had backup files at his house. James goes to Salim's house and threatens his wife to give him the tablet with the backup files. After getting the iPad, James calls a number regarding the safe house and soon meets Virgil. Once James enters the car, Virgil knocks him out when he comes to. He finds himself on a foreign bed undergoing medical care. Virgil explains that his knee had been infected, so he was just taking care of it. Virgil tells James that he cannot return home since he will be murdered. James retrieves the iPad and finds a video recording of Salem, dedicating it to his son. James is horrified to learn that Salem is just an ordinary scientist who has developed a cure for a deadly virus. He deduces that Rusty had been paid by a pharmaceutical company to steal the cure since Salim intended to give it out for free. While having dinner with Virgil, the two are attacked by another hit team sent by Rusty. Virgil is instantly killed, so James takes cover. He releases gas into the house and then carefully exits just as the house explodes and kills the hit team. Shocked at Rusty's betrayal, James decides to travel home and let Mike's wife know that her husband is dead. He gets to Mike's house and watches through the window. Suddenly, he sees something that shocks him. It out that Mike is alive and well. He believes that Mike knew about Rusty's plan and had deceived him. James starts following Mike around, but Mike quickly corners him in a parking garage. James wants blood, but Mike is surprised to see him, revealing that Rusty had told him and everyone that he had died. This is why Mike never went back to the hotel as he had promised James. James calls him out for allowing him to join Rusty's team, even though he knows that the team is full of people working for criminals. He asks Mike why he agreed to this mission and how he can live with himself knowing that millions will succumb to the virus for a few to make billions. Mike says that this mission gave them the biggest payday of their lives. He has a son with special needs, so he needed to take care of his family first. James is sad to hear this, especially knowing that his family thinks he is dead. Mike tells James to disappear since his family is well catered for and that Rusty will come after him once he finds out that he is alive. However, James wants to enact revenge on Rusty for lying to him and letting him eliminate an innocent man. He also wants to reunite with his family since they are all he cares about. He convinces Mike to join him and the two arms up to storm Rusty's farm. Their sneak attack is successful, but soon they face heavy fire from Rusty and a few of his men. Rusty sees Mike outside and shoots him twice, but Mike also shoots Rusty. Meanwhile, James sneaks inside the house and deals with a few men quietly to avoid being detected. Eventually, James finds Rusty and executes him. He then walks outside and grabs Mike, dragging him to the truck. Sadly, Mike succumbs to his wounds and dies. James is angry and devastated by the loss, but he burns Mike's body and the vehicle to get rid of any evidence. He then goes home, intending to take his family away to safety. He watches as Brienne and his son Jack play around. As the two walk toward the house, James calls out to his son, 